And welcome back to Four Peas in a Pod. <coughs> sorry. Oh, wow. oh, dear. Yeah, sorry. It is very early. We're all struggling a little bit. That's why there's very strong coffee on the go. It's just because it's been a busy week again. It has just another busy week. Could have been a lot busier though. It could have been a lot busier. Because everything's been cancelled. Yes. Because of the poor weather. Well, poor weather. But other than that. Tyre's not inflated. Tyre's not inflated either. <laughs> But other than that, we'll go. Anyway, how have you been, Mr. Patwell? Good, good. Yeah, not bad. Excited to be back for episode number five. Uh, yeah, it's going well. <coughs> See? <It's>, um, <laughs> oh, 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 very oh, oh, oh. Hang on. Coffee. Mm. Much better. <laughs> that was loud. <laughs> yeah, well, clear right. my throat. Yeah, um, all good. All good. good. Another good week. I would ask Mr. Stanley, but he's just had to exit to help a student yep. uh, put his cricket bag in the hall, which is amazing for another night of cricket training. Mr. Robinson's running around. Uh, still trying to sort out things for the athletes' ball. Yeah, which is um, still black tie. Which is still, still black, black tie. tie. So I think um, he's just doing the final bits for that. So it just looks like it's just me, you. For now. So for this now. will be the most interesting segment yeah. of it. And, and our guest. And our guest. Um, um, I haven't actually written down an introduction oh, for our okay. guest. Though. So yeah. I'll do one, you do one, and then we'll just go. Yeah, okay, All you right? do. Yeah, you go first. So our guest today, we've got a lot to talk about, uh, mainly in co- mainly because he's got quite a lot in common with, um, with us sat around this table at the moment. Um, he has future aspirations to walk in the footsteps of people like yourself, Mr. Patworth. Um, he's been a key member of our rugby programme for the last couple of years. He's someone that has been a massive help, not just extracurricularly for younger years, but also in PE lessons where he's come out and he's helped, which has been a massive help to teachers, and been a massive help to us in terms of getting the best quality of coaching for the younger kids. Um, and he's someone that I think will go on to do very, very well. As a PE teacher, you got anything to add to that? That was pretty good. That's pretty massive. That's, That's right on. I thought you just intru- I thought you should talk about me. Yeah. But actually, <laughs> our guest today is Ben Reeve. Hello. Lovely. There we go. Yeah, yeah, there welcome. we go. Welcome. Well, I, yeah, welcome. I appreciate the long intro. That was like the big, big up. Yeah, I, yeah. They're getting better and better. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> off script. That was off the cuff. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to know how many massives there were in there. Oh uh, well, yeah. Can I say massive a lot? If anyone's listening to Massively. this, if anyone's listening to this, we'll put a poll out. How many times did Mister uh, Stock say "massive" in his introduction? Oh, I'm sure I just did. Here we go. Try and get you know. Be all good I did. I imagine. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I control. Yeah. There's only one massive. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was mistaken. So Ben, how are we? Yeah, no, I'm good. Excited to be here for. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah? yeah. Has the has the four P's in a pod taken off a little bit within the within the. It community of, of the school. Well, I think it has. I mean, we've talked about it a lot in, I mean, in certainly in PE lessons, we've talked about it a fair bit. I've talked about it here, like, right. <laughs> we've Not with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 he's not my teacher. No. But we've talked about it at like, lunchtime and break time with people who aren't involved in sport. Oh, no. it's, you know, people want to come on. It's a good thing. Um, yeah. Like who? Who wants to come <laughs> on? Oh, <there's, laughs> like, like some people. We'll see if they're, we'll oh, see if we can Quite get. honestly, anyone who plays senior sport, I think, oh. is up for it. Just because um. everyone wants to like, you know, get their voice out there, get oh, a bit of okay. airtime. Interesting. Yeah. Well, Self-promotion. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And like it, it's becoming a bit of a thing to be to be on the, 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 the four Ps and pods. I mean, it is making its way through the school. Uh, we have spoken about, like, obviously opening it up. Obviously, the Boba brothers are desperate to come on to prove which one's the best one. We're working our way down though, we we're go 13s. Out, yeah. We're working our way down. I think we'll keep it as a 6 4 yeah. thing. Um, Mr. Robinson's just walked in, how are you? Good morning, very well, thank you. Good, good week. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Excellent. 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 <laughs> Usually you give us a script. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, but I'm not I, got a script I don't think we can be scripted. I think we've I, got to just flow. I want to talk about uh, A level, um, A level PE this week. Moderation. Moderation. That was really good. Um, Unfortunately, you were injured, but you came down. You showed Willie. It was yeah. really good. I was there for five hours in the freezing. Didn't yeah, really get to do much. It was an extremely <laughs> cold day. Um, but we don't, you know, at this point we don't know the, the marks that pupils have been given, but we give, we've been given a, an idea, and I think we're, we're we're about there. So, but it was good to see the level. Yeah. Um, and we had some very high performers turn up, and they stood out, which is nice to see. Yeah. It's worth noting on in those sort of environments where this. The small things make a really big difference, Absolutely. like being on your toes and being ready for the ball and communication mm-hmm. and that little small talk that we always talk about. Like they're the things that um, moderators will really pick up on if people listen or ever get moderated in the future. Just those really bits are just being absolutely in the ru- in it, immersed in the activity, even down to how you dress and how you how you act and you know um, the, the 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 clothes you. 
making sure you've got all the right safety equipment. If you're playing football, make sure you've got shin pads. You know, there were people there that were turning up without, you know, from other schools, um, without shin pads, and it looked terrible, and jewellery on, and everything else, and you know what you need to do. Um, you just got to, yeah, hold a good account of yourself. Um, so, Revo, yeah. main question is, what and who inspired you to be a PE teacher? Nothing, nothing. No pressure, no pressure. Um, Someone at his primary school. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, I mean, I've always loved sport. I've loved sports since I can remember, whatever. But it's not, it's not just that kind of stuff. I actually started A level PE very rocky. Okay. I, I think I failed my first four tests. I got used on my first four tests and E's. And then I kind of, yeah, just, then I kind of, I turned it around at like a decent amount point. I started actually realizing that. A levels are a lot harder than GCSEs. You've got to put a lot more work in to get the content, especially if you haven't studied GCSE, it became a lot harder. And then I realised that I actually really love the subject. When I started reading around a bit more, putting, a bin, putting in a bit more effort, and I started actually understanding the content, it just it made me realise it's something I wanted to do, I wanted to teach. And I, I mean, I said, my, I mean, my parents said I've always kind of make a good teacher because I'm quite good at like talking to people mm. and I'm, like, I can present well. Um, so I never really thought about it like that. I kind of I didn't really know what I wanted to do, and then I realised that I mean this seems like great fun. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> it just seems like a great laugh. I went out. Um, <laughs> seems like a great laugh. <laughs> but Hard like, work. Yeah, yeah, I know. Of course, course. yeah, yeah. But, you do work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I mean, well, like going out in like you said with the P lessons, like helping fun. out with the year sevens. Yeah. Like I just really enjoyed it. It's yeah. absolutely what I wanted to do. Going out, giving what. But I think own. yeah, I think it showed that. It, you're more than capable, especially when it, uh, mm. with things like the the tag competition, prime school tag competition. He led that with exceptionally well. Joel came and um, no issues, and you know exactly what being you know uh, an organizer and PT should be, be able to do: organize, send off some the other staff member or the boys that were there, collect them stuff in, and move on. Um, yeah, that, that leadership program said we're going to continue now, so we've kind of kickstarted that, and to have someone like you on that. At at first has, has been brilliant. What? You well, see the value in it. Like yeah, you, no, you, absolutely. You now it's great, yeah. From doing, I'm, mate, I'm not suggesting it was because of that, but from that, it gives you a clearer career path, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. One, one thing I'd say, and I think you'll start to realise this through, through, through your career, and I did sort of early on, it is very annoying. When you have teachers that are, and you're sort of sub, sub leading it, and you're getting a chance to. to take a lesson or take whatever a lot of teachers really really butt in and just sort of take over the lesson they don't allow whoever the young person is or whoever the trainee is to actually go and experience it and do it for themselves because they want control over what it is and as you were saying I think sometimes in lessons we struggle to go well actually there is a little bit of chaos in it and it's not going to be perfect sometimes but you've got to allow that to happen um, so that, that, that's that's like the one thing I'd say is for people that are mentoring people is give them the chance to just go and do it. Um, yeah, if they make mistakes, then that's how they learn. That, that, that's it. And I'm sure you've learned loads this year yeah, from absolutely. doing it yeah. over and over and over again. Yeah. Well, well, when we were doing like the the theory kind of behind the coaching, like we did a little bit of that, and it was the like the working in small groups. That you, know, you become a lot more productive when you work in small groups. The simplifying stuff to about three bits of information. So when we were teaching like these year six how to pass, it was what hip shoot target. That was all it was, and that's all we said to them, and they well, they got it really well. Mm. By the end of the session, over episode. Yeah. So, teaching go, goes around in cycles. You, every fifteen years or so, you'll get the same thing that you had fifteen years ago, and then things will change, change it, and it'll come around again. And you got <coughs> through those cycles. The good teachers are able to pick out the good things of those cycles. That's something that you that you they used to bang on about guided discovery, and that's all that was. It seems to have gone that term. It seems to have gone now. But that's what it is, chaos. Like b being, putting people into chaotic situations, they learn a lot from that. The problem is teaching now is so uh, scrutinized. Mm. So when you get observed mm. by Ofsted or you get observed by um, external people or even internal people, if they don't understand what you're trying to create, it does just look like chaos. Yeah. But you as a teacher will be able to see loads of progress within each individual kid but the person watching can't. Yeah. But then you kind of got to play because because you've got to pass this observation or Ofsted or anything else, and it's a bit of a shame because it does hinder what you're trying to achieve. Yeah. But that's just key as you <coughs> go back to 
for you. Oh, this would be an advice session. Wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, advice for everyone. As, you, as you, you, go, you go back to your principles as a teacher that you believe in, that you think are your core values as a teacher, that you Absolutely. always know right, that every lesson is going to be underpinned by those, fun. those values, that thing, and essentially, is it fun? I know you're building relationships, and if you're doing that, well, it is good advice for everyone because it is, it's the time of the year now where exams are coming. Students yes. are about to go to university, start their, their start of their career. And if they can take that into, you know, if they can think that as they're starting their, you know, their, their journeys off in whatever degree they're doing, whatever, if they're doing teaching or Absolutely. whatever they can. So you have teachers haven't actually ever done <clears throat> formal no. exams, have you? Never sat exams. Oh, wow. so yeah. I, We've done, feeling. I would uh, imagine the stress levels are high. Yeah, well, a, a lot, lot of teachers, teachers like in other subjects talk about like, the fear. Because in GCC, you s- we would have had like the fear pushing yeah. us to do well because mm. we didn't. I mean, we worked like we still worked hard for our GCCs, but we didn't sit the formal exams, and we kind of had the advanced information. We knew what was going to be on it. This year, we have none of that. Mm. So, but we're also not used to necessarily how to revise well, how to how to how the whole exam structure works. So it's just about kind of really getting in the zone because yeah. I mean, there's still people. I mean, they talked about it in the assembly last year. There's loads of people working hard. Some people aren't working hard. It's just what you put in is what you get out of it. That's what they always say. So if you're working hard now. Which I mean, I think I am. I think I'm trying. To, I think I'm doing well. I think mm. I've got a structured plan. I've got a risk and time table, that kind of stuff. So I think at the end I'll come out well and I'll be all right. That's good. Yeah. No, I'm where, sure you will. Where yeah. are your aspirations post um, Bath? Bath. Bath. I want to go to Bath to do sports management and coaching. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. And then that then can lead you into how to get into teaching from. Uh, I had I, I had a meeting with Mr. Moby about it, and there's about four or five different options. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Um, there's the on the job like kind of two year one which is basically yeah. like a teaching apprenticeship kind of thing yeah yeah the fat word the fat word we called that we'll rename that yeah Craig the plug for me um, <laughs> but and then there's like the actual PGCE which is where you go to uni um, get like the teaching degree which is well, after that you can kind of teach anything because I think when I was talking to Mr Moby he said he, he'd want me to be or I kind of I have aspirations to come back here as well that's good and when I was talking to Mr Moby he said he, ideally he'd want me to be flexible in what I could teach so I'd teach multiple subjects. So if I did come back, I'd probably teach PE and history because I'm, I mean, I like to think I'm good at history as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it just kind of gives me uh, something else I can teach on the side, which is good. Mm. There's a lot. There's a lot right now. Teachers having to diversify well, a little like, bit and go into different subjects. Talking about games in cycles. If you go back 20 years, that's exactly what it was. Like PE teachers didn't just teach PE; they taught j- loads of geography PE teachers. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's gonna. I think it's sadly it's gonna go back to that, and that's because. You know, people are struggling for teaching, and although PE teachers have a reputation of not being all that intelligent, <laughs> they can generally be very good teachers because of the connections that they make with the pupils. So we were saying this behavioural stuff. When like in we we've, we've noticed a difference from the rugby season, where behaviour is yeah. very tightly managed mm. because there's the nugget of rugby, and when that that that's taken away, they almost like. It's well, it's a release, isn't it? Yeah. It's a release. It's well, we have this idea of student athletes. <coughs> yeah. So, so at Bath, you've obviously been to around Bath, haven't you? Yeah, and yeah, had it's a look around. What's the facilities like there? They're like ridiculous. Mm. It's nothing. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be anything like kind of secondary school in terms of size, but like obviously, it's standard. But yeah, <laughs> but like the stuff, the facilities have got the gyms they've got. Um, for like those who are local creators, and you'll know like Cascade <coughs> and Signets, it's about twice the size yeah. of those. Like they are huge complexes. And it's where the GB sprint team work as well. So yeah, along yeah. the along the. Well, there's quite there's loads of there. different sports teams. Mm. Like at all of like kind of all the super bucks rugby teams, not just like rugby, but lots of the great sport universities. Yeah. Like when we went to Cardiff Met, they had the what is it, the Welsh Athletic yeah. Centre there. Yeah. But yeah. they have yeah. all those massive institutions, which all of these. And what's the facilities like for like learning there in terms of on the campus for for you at, away from sports and more weirdly academic. quite similar to that six one centre okay. and they, they they did say they modelled it on like a university how it's yeah. going to look but they're kind of quite big open spaces mm. with like lot, every rather than it being a classroom they're all lecture theatres instead they're all kind of they all look a bit like 317 where they've mm. got like the big mm. um, projector at the front and then all the seats coming back um, which is kind of good that it looks a bit like that because it kind of it gets you used to the idea yeah. of it it gets you into the flow I think that was the plan wasn't it when they when, they, yeah. when it first went in it was to give you a sort of insight to what university life will be in terms yeah. of Classrooms and um, lecture theatres and stuff. 
we, we've spoken a lot <coughs> about you being a teacher, but you are a very talented sportsman, you're a very good rugby player. Have you got any aspirations when you go to Bath about forwarding rugby career, or is it something because not, not, not everyone wants to go and do that, or what, what's sort of next for sport wise for you? I've always said I play rugby for fun. I don't, I've, n- I, I mean, when I was kind of a bit higher up, I did have aspirations to go pro. You know, mm. I always had it in the back of my head, like it could happen, it could happen. Um, and then I, after I kind of took the step back from it all, I thought it's not for me. Because I have, um, I, I mean, I had quite a lot of problems with the stress of playing for like that high level, so I just I don't think it's for me. It, it really kind of saps my love for the game a little bit. And I, if I've got kind of twenty thirty years left in my career, I hope. Um, Easy. Yeah. I Easy. Hope, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, you've you've been a, a key member, a key member of of, rug, of rugby here, and I think the the energy that you give for the love of the sport resonates as, as well as in your coaching. And you consider that you're passionate about the other students learning because you enjoy the sport, and and that's that's really good. So in terms of playing for fun, then how are you? go into uh, at uni to what, what are your aspirations to, to play for fun and how is that going to become part of your uni experience well I'd love to I mean I, I, I still want to play for a Bucks team mm-hmm. um, they have I mean at these Bucks teams they have what well, Exeter have like a 12th team yeah. like, they have the same amount of squads I think Bath have got to the 7th so I, I don't know what team I'd be in I'd go in I'd, I'm happy to, but That's my good. point is I'm happy to be in any team I'm put That's in good. I'll good. go turn up to a trial if I, I mean they were talking. I was talking to the guy in the standard they've got. They've got like some England under 18s, England under 20s, and like the third team and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So the standard is absolutely ridiculous. Mm. So uh, wherever I'm put, I'm happy to. And if I, I mean, no matter what, like I say, I play, like, play rugby for the love of the game. So just continue doing that as much as I can. I'll, I'll play as much as I can in yeah. uni. And when I'm uh, when I'm back, I'll be playing for Gravesend and stuff. As well, so. It's such a mature attitude to have because coaching adult rugby. You get some people if they're not in the first team, they're not interested. They're not yeah. going to play. No. It's it's the most frustrating thing because if you're not prepared to play for the teams, you're not the right really, you're not really the right character to play for the first team in the first place. Even if you are technically good enough. I think you're right there, Mr. Robinson. It's it's about you know rugby mm. at any standard. Yeah, yeah. Is still or uh, sport at any standard at any team. It's still enjoying sport. The, the, the it, key it, but central element to all of it is having fun, yeah. like you just yeah. said. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, if that if that's there for you, then that's great. This is the problem with the culture of football at the minute. Like kids are getting picked up by the academies at you know, eleven years younger than There's like six, seven old. year olds in some of these. And academies. then all of this yeah. pressure to be the best player, and and you go around the area, you look at grassroots football. It's terrible. If you look at like Sunday league football, the standard is atrocious. Well, actually, some of those kids probably back in the time were on the books of, of being somewhere. And you don't have this, you got pro, even if you look at premiership down to championship, there's a huge divide. But then below that, like, it's More huge. Yeah. Even last night, Arsenal, Arsenal, Man City, there's a there's a divide even there. It's a sore it's subject. <laughs> 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 you know, it's like, yeah, it was um, a hell of a game. Forest one, that's it. Yeah. You're a Forest fan. I am out the relegation zone. Sorry, moving on. Oh, I, oh. <laughs> I know. So yeah. give us. So God. coming to the end of your end of your time here, then, Riva, you've yeah. got what two two weeks three left, weeks three left, weeks yeah. left. Give us some highlights that that you've had from from back in year seven to to, to, to now. Give oh, us I've some got a Revo highlight. Oh, 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 okay. Mm-hmm. Year nine, Rosewood Park. You just running over some. Oh yeah, yeah. For a try. That um, was we when we went to year nine Rosnick Park, <laughs> we brought a, a hefty team. Put it that yeah, way. It was, we a, did, it was, it was a seven it side. It was not a seven <laughs> side. <laughs> it was a seven side which consisted of I think about five or six front rowers. Perfect. Raymond. Raymond. We had me, Raymond, Nathaniel, Midday, Isaac, Joseph Oyanola. He was there. Yeah. Um, Nothing comes down the middle, and we didn't, and we yeah, didn't get, and we didn't get to day two. We won a game. <laughs> <laughs> we won a game. I know. I, I think we lost two. I think we lost two one one. So give us, so, so give us some highlights then. Give um, us some, give us a, a Graves Ben Reeve Graves and Graham School top three highlights. Oh, top three highlights. Number three. Uh, number three will be the Roslyn Park getting to the second day. That was the well, yeah. that was the first time the school ever did yeah. that. That was really cool. Yeah, experience to have. Um, 
What, well, just sporting? Anything. Oh, anything. Oh, it doesn't have to be sport, though. No. Sport, I don't know. Um, sport's a boy. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> but I didn't know this type of question. Oh, well, well. Um, yeah, it's just, sorry, we haven't got some It's organic. Have a think about it. Yeah, have a think about it. One thing I want to ask is, you've at, you've been here for, obviously, for seven years, yeah. um, but Great. you've probably been here for, for what, seven years? We think. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I'm turning to Robbo. Um, you've turned <laughs> into, um, like, you've been through what we would say is probably a massive transition yeah. in a, hopefully in what the school sport is yeah. and definitely what it looks like what would you say you've noticed from your seven to leaving now obviously your age dictates what you see in the school however what have you noticed from year seven to year 13 changing around the school everything at this school kind of now revolves around sport this i think sport has become like the big culture of the school you know you watch you're into sport though yeah no that's... well no i don't think so because you see the basketball there's loads of people who don't like basketball or don't like sport necessarily don't play sport but they're in there watching the basketball yeah, they love okay. that kind of stuff people came out to watch us when we played against i don't know who what it was uh seven seven oaks, yeah, seven yeah. Oaks, yeah, we had loads <clears> of people come out to watch us last year we had loads of people come out to watch against st lawrence but they yeah richmond was cancelled we had like the whole six one come out which is great and what do you mean when you said that drives the culture what, 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 what did you mean by that? um well, we have a lot of, um, I mean, there, there is kind of that culture in the school, especially in rugby, like we said, like the coaching, helping the younger years. You, you, when you first came out and talked to us, you said you ideally, you want the se year seven to kind of idolise us, kind of look up to us and be like, that's what I want to be like. Mm. And that's good because it gives you a purpose. Like when you're in the young years, it gives you a purpose. Like I, I, when I was in year seven, I remember I wanted to be the first team. I wanted to go out, walk out on that pitch, put that kit on and... Just have a great time with our mates, and we're and we're talking about inspiring and, and culture and stuff, and, and I think that's great. You're about to go to uni and hopefully do really well, and you said you've got aspirations to come back here. Yeah. Four years time, yeah. In theory, so those year sevens that you've coached we'll still, yeah. still be here, we'll still be here, yeah. but hopefully pushing for that first team. Yeah. So if and for you to to see that would be hopefully uh, an amazing experience that you've inspired somebody to go. That's what I want to be. I want to be mm. Ben Reeve. I want to be in that first team, wearing the tie, representing school. Yeah. And you've made that achievement by putting yourself out there, which which is great. So you've had time to think number two, go. Yeah, I'm going to go with when none of our fly-offs turned up. Uh, so I was fly-off for the day against right. Kent, Kent College back in year 10, I think it was. And didn't have a tee, so I had to drop kick all of the goals. And did you get them? Got three out of five. Okay, not but bad. But more importantly, that. scored the winner. So Ooh. in the last well, the couple of minutes, famous Ben Reeve dummy. Oh yeah, absolutely. The, the big of course, yeah, like big it, yeah. yeah. Good. Show and go, yeah. Like it. I like it. That's really good. Um, so uh, one thing I said to you, obviously been here through that. What would you like to see in four years' time? Then, when you come back, what would you like to have seen things progress to at that point? That you go, yeah, it's, it's still improving. It's still going up. It's numbers increasing still. I still want to see more participation. Maybe a bit more. <laughs> maybe I don't know not variety in sport but variety in the kinds of people who come and play the sport because a lot of people who play rugby are already either playing rugby or football before they come to the school Yeah. so maybe get a bit more of those who haven't necessarily played any sport before they come to school because I mean in our year we had quite a lot of we had a lot of talented mm. sports people who yeah. didn't play <coughs> rugby until year 9 and year 10 yeah. mm. and then made our team a lot better like we went year 7 and 8 we didn't win a single game yeah. in year 7 and 8 but then year 9 we won half and then year 10 I think we only lost 3 or 4 games like we did a lot better because we had these kids who weren't necessarily didn't, didn't know they were good at sport, but then came and played sport, and we became a lot better. So how'd you get them? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll get back. <laughs> more staff would help. To yeah, be yeah, more probably answers. more staff. But it's interesting because you could probably, as a student, work from the inside. But when you put yourself on the outside as a staff member, how do you, how do you encourage? A student that's not ma promotion, massively interested I think. into sport. I think we, I mean, the year sevens have done exceptionally well this year. They are a talented Eight, bunch. Yes. Four, four, five, four, teams, four teams, didn't they? Yeah, yeah they are a talented bunch. So I think go go into assemblies, highlight, look, this is an amazing team. This is what they've achieved. Come be a part of this. So but should that be a staff person or should we be looking at, so we're doing obviously first team captain yeah. interviews tomorrow um, for the rugby. Mm. Should it be whoever's successful there, should that person be going into assemblies and going, this is what this is what the culture of the school is. This is what we can we've got out of it. This is what we want to give you. Well, I think it should be arranged because the staff can give their outside perspective of looking in and say, look, this is what we've achieved. This is what I think is really good. And then the student can come in and say, this is how I feel about it. This is what I've done. This is what it's, it's made me feel a bit better about stuff. Yeah. 
and then maybe even get so like so that's like the first thing captains like like those kind of candidates but then maybe even get some like the year sevens and eights coming up and saying because mm. i mean there's some confident year sevens and eights yeah. who would love to go on stage yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. they'd absolutely yeah. go on stage so maybe next words. year's year sevens who are in have what would be the year eights yeah. coming in and yeah. speaking in, yeah, yeah i like good, it yeah. Yeah. and then and then it says it's about highlighting participation as well as the achievement at the top so we've got a clear We've got we've got to think we're covering both bases. We're yeah. not just going well. You either win and win or thing. It's covering both bases and going. Yeah. Look at these guys who are winning. That's amazing. But look at these guys who are giving up their Saturday mornings for 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 this. So Rivo, you you've said what's gone well. What could we do even better? Um, what in the subjects or in PE in sport in, in, in sport? In what could we? How could we make it better for? Um, I like. The, the fact that we have the sports Instagram page now, but maybe could do with slightly more promotion and that kind of stuff. I mean, we put on the thing about a lot, what? Talk to the influencer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Stanley, the influencer. I say like slightly more promotion on the Instagram. We talk more. a lot. Of, more, yeah. More promotion. Really more, 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 more. I know, yeah, yeah, of course. What we need really is, because we are terrible at um, technology <laughs> in yeah. general, some, some of us better than others, but uh, we need a replacement for Emmanuel. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <coughs> done all of the work. Should we, should we plug it? Should we plug it? Yeah. So we're yeah, so yeah. Yeah, so we're, we're looking. We're looking. We're looking, we're looking, right yeah, we're looking <laughs> for a life. We're looking for a <laughs> sports media apprenticeship expert. Expert um, to help us. Meme team. Yeah, to come part of the meme team. Yeah, to like it. Yeah. Meme so team. if you right. are uh, if you are interested, then uh, you don't do a media studies like no. A-level or GCSE. No. But it must, but it's so big now, yeah. isn't it? Like yeah. graphic design yeah. and, and yeah. digital content. It goes hand in hand. Well, it goes hand in hand. We talk. We talk about when we went to Cardiff Met for pre-season. They showed us that video, didn't they? Yeah. And the pre-season video for recruitment wasn't made by any of the rugby players. It was made by their their A-level media content. Yeah, and yeah, and the video yeah. was incredible. Yeah, and was then really they pushed on with commentary on a Wednesday yeah. and it live on YouTube. But that's all external candidates from obviously sport and we know that obviously we don't have those facilities but it does go hand in hand I think maybe I know it's a bit of hard work but if we're talking along the lines of getting actually like a, a sports like a media influencer kind of come in and do that kind of stuff mm. maybe actually because well, all the games are recorded on VO mm. maybe get highlights on the YouTube channel yep. cut them up chop them up well, these are the best bits Ooh. It's all very time-consuming stuff. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Much, let me know what your timetable looks like when you go to uh, Bar <laughs> yeah, Freezer. You might be getting an email back. Freezer and the sixth one. Well, this will be fine. We'll find something. Yeah, someone will. Or a team. Like, there must be a team we can put together. Yeah. And the thing is, as soon as you start it, then it will just trickle down and we'll have more people you coming to it. Just like this. Yeah, so yeah, you start, start, it, start, start it, it goes. You're talking about getting more people interested in sport. And, yeah. You know, often people that aren't interested in playing sport, there are other elements to it that we could get them involved in. That would be the, the real one, isn't it? You don't have to be a player no, to yeah. be involved in what we're doing. You can <coughs> help us in other ways. Well, you, you pushed you it in GCSE, didn't you, and about sports, well, yeah. about jobs, when we did yeah. the argument about jobs in sport that don't actually directly mean you have to participate right, yeah. right, in right. sport. You could be just as useful to the whole programme, mm. creating content mm. for advertising the sport and promoting the sports yeah. that are happening, or maybe it's a coaching role yeah. And you don't, or maybe it's, uh, you know, handing out being a water boy or something yeah. like that, or yeah. analysis. Or yeah. there must yeah. be I mean, there's, there's plenty of managers at teams, like not coaches, like managers of the yeah. teams who just look after the players, do yeah. that kind of stuff. Like, Absolutely. not, no, <coughs> like they're not great at sport themselves, they don't love sport, but they're good at yeah. managing, so yeah. they can do that. Absolutely. We had people that could do some of the admin stuff for us, that'd be <coughs> absolutely amazing. So if you are interested, obviously come and speak to us at the department, and we can find a way of. Inc- including you in, in, in what these kinds of things so we go number one number one moment Ooh. see i feel like i should save it because i'm quite looking forward to tomorrow night oh yeah so what's happening tomorrow night tomorrow night is the athletes ball and what's the dress yeah. code the black tie black it's tie. definitely <laughs> black tie it will always be black tie it should <laughs> be from the start black it will tie. always yeah. be <laughs> <laughs> You chat just by the chance. <laughs> <laughs> so you're you're possibly saving it. You're possibly saving I'm your possibly number. Saving it. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure yeah. on one that. Uh, yeah. 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 Oh, it's yeah. been bigged up for a while. No, okay. been, the problem yeah. is what I, I heard some. I, I'm gonna mess it up, but it's um something like disappointment is just over expectations. Yeah, yeah but tomorrow is gonna be amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's gonna be amazing, and it's gonna it be will tomorrow. be amazing. Yeah. Although saying that, I've, that's not the principle we work on in PE. In PE, it's say it's going to be fun, and it will, be and the fun. kids will believe you, yeah, and, and, and it's fine. Um, 
So there are some awards being given out tomorrow. We obviously won't mm -hmm. say, who? Into, say who. Um, but um, <laughs> one of the awards we vote is yeah. um, Team of the Year. Yeah. Who's your vote? Oh, oh it's tough. Oh, ben, so right, you are a rugby player, but it doesn't mean it has to be. I'm not sure I can give it to rugby. Okay. I think by our standards, we didn't have the best season. No. Okay, so who <laughs> who would your vote for team of the year be? Um, <coughs> netball. Oh, oh, oh yeah. I was, yeah, it's between netball and basketball. Oh, okay. Basketball yeah. obviously had two trophies, but netball have made a lot of progress since last year. They've become a, a lot, there's a lot more involvement in the school. Like, Again, like the participation, people coming out to watch netball. Yeah. We had like half the sixth form coming packed into that sports hall to watch them for their first game. And it's obviously getting out there that we are doing that because yeah. the the list of externals, three hundred and eighty people have applied. <laughs> um, we've gone through the list of externals to see who's been given conditional offers, and there are many many sportsmen, uh, uh, netball sports players, women. sports women, sorry, uh, sports women coming to look into playing netball. So obviously yeah. that that's getting out there. Okay, interesting. So. We'll see if you're right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We'll see, we'll if, see you're right. if you're right. Um, yeah. Any other questions? Any other statements? Any other... Oh, sorry. Uh, albeit a very disappointing week for cricket, an amazing week for golf. Oh, yes. Oh, amazing oh, week, amazing for week for golf. Uh, so on Monday, I took nine of the lads to Pedham Place for the Kent Golf Championships. Um, there was team events, there was individual events, um, and we managed to do pretty well. Um a lot of our boys are very, very talented at golf. I think the highest handicap was 12 or something, which is ridiculous. Um, and we managed to win, Charlie Gunning managed to win the under 16s um, uh, boys title, which was gross and net. And then we also managed to win the team championship. Um, and they're going to Woodhill Spa. I think we qualified for, like, it was, there was numerous events, I've got to get the email up. And then some of our boys came in the top six. So Lucas Dennison's going through, uh, Cameron Gertz is going through, Charlie Gunning's going through, and then our team of Tom McManus, uh, Theo, Carnegie Jones, and Justin Chenu are all going through as well. So, a very so successful good. day. Fine. So, that was that, that, that was good. However, cricket was a bit disappointing with the flat tyre, the rain, and the boggy pitches. <laughs> That's okay. But next, we'll get, next, next week, week, next week, week cricket season cricket starts. Season starts. Kent Cup starts next week. So okay, we're, so Revo, we'll, uh, have you got anything that you would like to, to end on saying? I don't know. Um, oh, I don't know. I, I, I wasn't expecting like an outro. No, <laughs> <laughs> I have to give it the outro. Uh, we go, then. That big can be as, ended out. As Mr. Right. Rapley's in the room, what's been your favourite part about A level PE? <laughs> <laughs> I quite uh, like the social cultural stuff. If I had to, if I, when I, I want to teach LP, if I was teaching the side I want to teach would be social cultural and the psychology stuff. I find that stuff really interesting. It's what I, it's what I'm going to base my modules around when I go to university. I'll pick the more kind of psychology based ones because it's quite interesting. It's funny how you said your history as well. So it's yeah, you yeah. steer down and, rather yeah. than sciences and maths. And so. Yeah. Just I wish I was good at science. Just some context, Mr. Rapley teaches psychology and sociocultural. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. Thank you. Um, thank you for joining in and listening. And uh, yeah, make sure make make sure you promote it any way you can. Yeah. You get more listeners, but it seems like it's taken off. So, so um, well done, Revo. Excellent yeah, stuff. Yeah. Thank you all. Thank you. Let's have a good day. See you next week. <laughs>